Okay, I'm going to do a quick demo to show you how to make a very basic eyeball using Blender. So first I'm going to delete the default object and I'm going to go to the create menu and create a new UV sphere. I'm going to press N on the keyboard and I'm going to rotate the sphere 90 degrees. I'm going to go to the view menu and view the sphere from the front. I'm going to uh, basically scroll on my mouse to zoom in and move my eyeball around. I should say that I'm on a Mac at the moment so it might be a bit different if you're on a PC. And what I'm going to do is press the tab key to go into the edit mode. I'm going to press the A key to um, deselect everything. And down here I'm going to press this little um, button here for face select. And then I'm going to press C on the keyboard and this allows me to just drag and select. So I'm going to drag and select all those faces. And then what I'm going to do is right click on the mouse just to sort of um, capture that selection. And then I'm going to do Control P on the keyboard. Oops, my mistake. Just P on the keyboard to separate and I'm going to do selection. Now if I press the tab key to exit the edit mode and go up here and look at my objects you'll see that I've got two sphere objects and this one I'm going to call eyeball and this one I'm going to call iris. Now with the iris selected I'm going to go to the tools and set origin and select origin to center of mass. Then I'm going to go to the properties over here and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees on the z-axis. Then what I'm going to do is just scroll around a little bit and just drag that into place. I'm just doing this roughly for now. Now what I'm going to do is go into the tab key, uh, sorry press the tab key and go into the edit mode I'm going to do the basic process I did before um, where I'm going to press C on the keyboard and I'm going to select those faces there. I'm just going to right click to capture that selection and then press P on the keyboard to separate that. And that gives me another object over here. I'm just going to exit the edit mode which I'm going to call pupil. So now what I can do is I can um, set the properties of the different parts of the eye separately. Um, but before I do that, I'm just going to select them and smooth them. So I'm going to go over here and select smooth. Another thing that you can do is you can use a modifier over here and you can, oops, you can select subdivision surface and that will also make it even more smoother. For now, I don't really think I need to worry about it too much. Um, and I'm just going to select smooth there. Maybe might as well select it for this one as well. Another thing that I want to do here is I want to parent the objects together. So I can select, say, the pupil and then select the eyeball. And in this, I'm going to do control P and to set parent to object and again I'm going to do it I'm going to select the iris and then the eyeball and do control P to set the parent object and so basically over here now if I look at my eyeball object I've got the iris and the pupil belonging to that object. Now I'm going to switch it to cycles render because I like to do that before I apply the materials and I'm just, and really once I do that, I need some sort of light to see what I'm doing. So I usually just create a plane object and just drag it up. You know, I may scale it a bit like this and I'm going to add a material to it 
and select new and select for the surface and emission surface so that turns it into a light and so if I go to the rendered view I can see the light illuminating the object and I can turn up the strength a little bit one thing that I also like to do is I like to go into my world settings and just set the color to black or even just a bit darker I think for now and I can select my iris object here and I can go into my materials and I can give it a blue color and for my pupil I can, I'm just clicking on that, right clicking on that select new diffuse and I'm going to set it to black so that's going to be the basis of my eyeball um, and I'll leave it there for now.